Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Lately, is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> so, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time, do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh, man. How long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose... other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is off! No! Two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but. Wow. You. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. 
You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Oh. I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. She managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. okay now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. Ah, it's nothing, really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. texts at the bar. You can respond to some of them. Give it a try.
Okay. When certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. Ugh, bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. I don't feel like going home today. Oh, I think it's Catherine. Hello, Vincent. It's me. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? It's okay. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay up too late. Good night. Ah, it's late. Would you like to save your progress? Excuse me, mind if I sit here? 